Uh, I'm Brad Myers. I'm from Midway, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. um, father of two lovely boys and happily married. Brilliant. And uh, you have recently been introduced to alkalizing and uh, cleansing divas worldwide cleanse. Yes. Absolutely. And you're here to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, um, you know, you had mentioned to me that you had started alkalizing. How did this all come about? Um, well, I was pretty much unaware of it until I spoke to, to you and your husband mm -hmm. um, and learned more about the, the health benefits. Um, so I thought I would give it a try because I had, um, I had gout in my foot not too long ago and I was uh, a little concerned that it would happen again. Mm -hmm. And I sort of always had this dull pain in, in my knees and, and, my, and my feet, maybe mm -hmm. for about a, a year. Um, like an arthritis kind of thing, you think? Yeah, kind, you, kind of like a mild arthritis, but I wasn't sure if it was a little bit, uh, you know, pain from exercising, mm -hmm. arthritis. I mean, I know the gout was arthritis, so... Mm -hmm. I sort of thought it was uh, old age setting in, and it, <laughs> it just wasn't. Gonna such get, a young age. Just wasn't going to get any better <laughs> at, at thirty six years of age. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, leading up to to the cleanse, um, I started eating more alkalizing foods. And you did that because you came here one and, night uh, and you started eating a. A meal. Uh, right, I introduced yeah, I, I you had, to some foods that you'd never had before. I think, right? Um, yeah, quinoa, uh, quinoa and and, and uh, your your uh, ionized water. Yeah, and, and some weird salads. Um, I actually felt <laughs> <laughs> I actually felt better uh, the next day. Right? Really? So, yeah, I did. So I thought there was something That's amazing. to it. Amazing. Um, and I think I began to lose weight before the cleanse, mm -hmm. probably a, a few pounds, uh -huh. um, and then uh, probably another twelve pounds during. 14-day cleanse. So 12 pounds in total. total. 15 pounds. Well, I mean, t 12 pounds in total in the cleanse. Yeah, 12 in the cleanse. That's and, brilliant. And On a 14 day, you did a 14-day cleanse. Yes. That's very, <laughs> very good. That's almost a pound a day. But how, when did your most, because you sent a, a, a post to us on our group, didn't you, telling us of the sudden large amount of weight you'd lost by about the sixth day. What was it? Um, it was about 10 pounds yeah. at that point. 10 pounds. That was just incredible. I remember people's reaction to that. <laughs> Some were a little upset. <laughs> so, so what did you do? What did, sorry, carry on because oh, I interrupted okay. you. Well, what did you do? I mean, so you, you started to change the way you were eating before the cleanse and then you went on a cleanse and what were the things that you had to incorporate, um, on a daily basis on the cleanse? Um, okay. So for the, for the cleanse, um, since it was a limited period of time and I was new to it, I, I mean, I really wanted to get uh, the most benefit out of it mm -hmm. um, that I could. Um, still sort of being a little uh, new to all the information, I didn't even realize on day one when I chose the maximum cleanse that <laughs> that there were options and then I really chose it. I just wanted to commit to sticking to it for 14 days. That's what I like to <laughs> <laughs> uh, But I stuck w with it even though I realized... Uh, you know, that I was doing the, the, the intense cleanse. So it's all raw, all puree um, is the intense cleanse, yeah, right? Yeah, I, th I think um, I, I did eat some raw vegetables mm -hmm. um, with edamame hummus yeah. here and there. So maybe that wasn't completely pureed and some... Uh, we call that emergency. Av avocados that I had, you know, sort of mushed up, yep. mashed up with, no, some, that's with great. some olive oil. No, that's really um, great. But the, uh, everything else was the, the, the pureed soups and and uh greens drinks and and the supplements um <laughs> all the supplements and the water yeah um, and those puree foods i mean i remember my first time my first few times in fact cleansing when i was doing all raw puree and those foods they take a bit of getting used to um you know you have to find the flavors that you enjoy the most and you know suddenly going to baby food is quite a change to the palate right <laughs> right so how did you find the food initially and then how did you find that uh, you were able to progress into the cleanse because 14 days can be a daunting task for some people sometimes right um well my intent in the beginning was to kind of expand my horizons so i bought um, some of the things on the shopping list that uh, that i don't typically eat um like a turnip and some other root vegetable that I actually finally cooked now off the cleanse. Right. <laughs> last night into a vegetable soup. Right. Um, you know, so, so there were some things, um, some, some dark leafy green vegetables, kale, uh, 
Swiss chard that I don't usually eat that mm -hmm. I put into the, the, the greens drinks. Yeah. Um, and it, at first, there, things, were, things were bitter, and there were some things I liked, and there were some things I didn't like. Um, and what I kind of realized a few days into the cleanse was as long as I was eating things that were on the, on the good list, I could go ahead and choose the things that um, already fit my taste. Absolutely. Anyway, so, so then it made it a Brilliant. lot easier. Yeah. Um, you know, the zucchini bisque with sage um, and zucchini. Um, you know, I love that, so I made that two or three times. Yeah. Um, ingredients with fennel. Um, you know, I, lo I love that. Red pepper, uh, basil. You know, so then I realized, you know, I can still have sweet and savory uh, tastes. Yes. And I'm getting the right ingredients. A lot of cucumbers. Um, I love those green peppers. Um, and then I just um, minimized the, the ingredients that were still uh, bitter for my taste. Um, so I could just keep alkalizing and, and keep on the, on the liquid soups. That's so brilliant that you did that because, you know to understand that as long as these food it's so simple what you just said the, as long as I could eat the foods that were on the list so I could find the foods that I loved then I could you know you can make your own concoctions it doesn't matter you know and from a from a an author's standpoint trying to write recipes and create recipes that you think everyone's going to like is completely impossible <laughs> but there's always something somebody will love so you know the the point I think the message there is to experiment and to make sure you have a, at least a go at trying these recipes because you will discover what you love and what you hate and I have to say there was a lot of stuff I hate <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that went down the down the drain so um okay so what did you now, there's the, the health crisis that we experience, or not everybody does, but some people do. And I would say, you know, after all this time of doing it, that most people experience some kind of a health crisis. It can be very, very mild, like a headache or whatever. But what was your health um, crisis that you experienced that we traditionally experience between the third and the sixth day? Um, right. Well, I think since I um, kind of prepped for the cleanse a little bit uh, a couple of days before the uh, the crisis that's supposed to happen somewhere between day and three and day six yeah. happened on day two. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that, without a doubt, I, I was pretty much tied to the to the restroom. Um, <laughs> that's what we like to hear <laughs> for, for the day. It's um, amazing what comes out, isn't it? <laughs> um, cer cer I certainly consume my six liters of water. Brilliant. Um, and as much uh, liquid food as I could, but I kind of felt it's sort of like having a cold, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just. Uh, you feel a little bit lethargic, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then you go to the bathroom a lot more. Yeah. Um, and then I felt better the next day. That's uh, quick. That's a quick. Or, well, well, not better right away. I think um, I felt dehydrated at first, you know, but then as I, I you know, took in a couple of liters of water, then I, then I started to feel better. And then back to having more mm -hmm. um, energy mm -hmm. throughout the day than I had uh, been having before the cleanse. So... Did you find that there was something that your body needed that you could give it that would help to alleviate the 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 health crisis at that time? And you mentioned water, um, but would you say that constantly adding more water was kind of a, a created a lessening effect for you, or how did you? Were there any things that you added that helped to get over that crisis quicker? Um, probably mostly water. Um... You know, I, I don't know if during that healing crisis, or I sort of had a second one later, uh -huh. where there might have been times where, um, you know, I would notice a little bit of a headache, you know, and, and I would drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. and I would just kind of feel a little bit of a rush mm -hmm. of, of uh, you know, energy, and, mm -hmm. and it sort of cleared my head, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I felt great again. So what, was, what kind of water were you drinking? Um the water with the uh, with the pH drops in it. Right, so, so it was an alkaline so water, and, water. Yeah, and that has a, a great effect on the body to, you know, clean out the cells, clean out the blood and the colon, and really to raise the pH. And it's a great starting level for people um, to get their good alkaline water. And then, you know, over time, for me, it took me several years to be able to work up to a, an alkalizing machine, and that's the ultimate. But that was such a great, great start. 